Now on this video, we're gonna be reviewing the UBS 100 by Covercraft. Now, what is the UBS 100? Well, this is a custom sunscreen for your car. Now you may be used to normal car shades and they're usually a little bit cheaper, but I'm gonna go over why I think this is worth the extra money and why I think it's actually cheaper down the long run. So the first thing to notice about the UBS 100 sunscreen is that they are literally cut to shape. So this is a 2019 Corolla hatchback and you can see that this sunshade perfectly fits the entire silhouette and covers as much uh, light from coming into the car. I mean, all the UV damaging rays that can damage the interior are now being blocked out by the sunshade. Also, the heat is being rejected out. Now, notice how different that is from a standard shade that you would buy, let's say, at an auto parts store. These things are made kind of a cookie cutter. They're either one size fits all, or if you get lucky, you find maybe a small size and a large size. And as you can see clearly, this one <laughs> leaves a lot of open spaces in the top. If I move it to the top, it's gonna leave open spaces in the bottom. It, it's even difficult to stretch it out. Now let's look at how this looks from the inside. Okay, we're now inside of the Corolla and you can see how well the coverage is. Really, we are blocking as much as possible from the outside coming in from the inside. The Sun Shield has a very perfect custom fit that matches the shape of the windshield on this car. Now the interior of the sunshade is a nice um, semi-soft, just like a little bit of a, of a fabric -y feeling. The edges are very soft though, so that's nice because that means that it's not going to scratch our interior. And there's some very nice stitching in here, which again reinforces this sunshade and it gives it stability and strength. The other thing that you're gonna notice too is that I don't have to bring my bisters to hold it down. That normally happens with the bubble type as they are flimsy. The fact that this is rigid and unfolds out it allows it to support itself on the windshield without having to fumble and bring down stuff. Now let's look at how the bubble one compares. So here is the whole sunshade, the one that's made out of bubble. And I, I have it hooked up as high as I can so it can stay up on the mirror. And notice that it won't stay up if I, you know, unless I bring this down, it won't stay up. It, it sags and it doesn't cover, look at all that space. Up here, around the bottom. I'm gonna bring down the, this right here just so we can lock it in place. So that's the only way it's gonna stay up. But remember, the sun is now hitting this plastic portion right here and the front of the dash so the UV rays will eventually damage the interior of the car. So this is definitely, <laughs> look at this, it's already falling down. <laughs> not, the, not the ideal solution for a sunscreen. Notice from the outside that it gives it a very nice clean look. It looks very, very professional. Another thing I notice is that because the material is thicker than the typical sunshade material and it is also filling completely the entire windshield, the car actually feels cooler because really inside of it there's almost no light going inside. And here's a standard sunshade for comparison. Just a very sad looking sunshade. Like I mentioned earlier, if you get lucky, sometimes these uh, sunshades are available in two sizes. But what I find most of the time is if I buy the large one, the large one's too large and I have to force it into place, or the small one, like in this case, is too small and it leaves a lot of gaps. So as you can see, there is a big difference between a custom sunscreen versus the standard generic ones you get at the store. And honestly, I actually have to tell you that I use one of these things on every one of my cars. I bought my first UBS 100 sunscreen about maybe three, four years ago, and it's still going strong. Now I'm not sure what the material is in Sato here is, but it's pretty rigid. Now you wouldn't want to put weight on it because I'm pretty sure it will bend and probably damage but just normal handling. I literally fold it, throw it in the back of the car, and it's good to go. Now, why do I think this might be cheaper down the road? Well, I think it will be cheaper because, let's say I have bought one of these things for a lot less, and this is what happened to me. I bought some, and they started to do this. 
as you can see they start to wear out and fall apart basically the sun destroys them and then all this little junk comes out look at that <laughs> looks like dandruff and, and they just you, they're gonna start to sag with time mine has not changed at all it still looks like the day i bought it so because i'm not having to buy those disposable almost almost feels like disposable sunscreens i feel this is definitely one worth investment and i don't think i'll ever have to buy another sunscreen again one last thing to mention about the UBS 100 sunscreen is that they do have them in different colors. So as you can see, I got this in a blue color to match the blue of my car. But they do have them in other colors like silver and I think like a gold looking uh, and maybe even a rose. Check the website for details. And they also have them in patterns. You can also customize it. This is my favorite part about it with logos. Now they don't have all the logos available, but for example, for my Mustang, I got the Mustang logo, which is great for the car enthusiast. Now they do sell these things with a little carrying case that you can slide it into, but honestly, I bought that once and I never put it in the case. I just fold them and throw them in the back of my seat. And that seems to really do it more than enough. So save a little money by not buying the optional case. If you're interested in checking it out, I put a link on the description below. Well, that's it for this uh, video. I have a lot more product reviews coming up, guys. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.